Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl with Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. Today we've got some NBA to talk to you guys about. We'll be honest, not really a big slate. Well, it, it's a nine-game slate, but I got three games to talk to you guys about. Um, we'll be talking over Philly, Detroit, LA, and San Antonio, and then Brooklyn and Phoenix. Uh, before we jump into it, um, if you guys are interested in all of the plays from Earl Sports Bets up on the site, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. That's where you could find them all. One week pass for $70. Uh, also, if you guys can, go ahead and follow Earl Sports Bets on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. We appreciate everybody who does go and follow us over on our social medias. Let's jump into it. We'll start off with Philadelphia and uh, Detroit. Uh, Philadelphia, 12-point favorites with a total of 233. And the big storyline here, 19 straight losses for Pit, uh, for Detroit. Two and 21 starts of the year, which I believe is the worst in NBA history or one of the worst in NBA history. It's got to be. Um, they won their, They started off two and one uh, and then have rattled off 19 losses in a row. But I think 12 points is too many. Are they going to win? No, uh, I, I don't think they're going to win. Could they? I mean, anything is possible, but um, I'm just going to take them to keep it within single digits. Uh, that's all I'm thinking. It's an eight, nine point game. Um, I don't see Philadelphia losing this one, so I kind of you, – you, I don't want to take the money line, although it would be fun if it did, but I'm not going to touch a team that's lost that many games in a row on the money line. We'll just take them plus the 12 to cover. Speaking about teams that aren't winning, uh, the Spurs are hosting the Lakers. Uh, the Lakers are three-and-a-half-point favorites with a total of 229 in this one, and you got the – Lakers on a second leg of a back-to-back. They did just lose to Dallas. Um, I looked at this one. I just thought the line was way too short. Um, I know the Spurs have been really bad as well. I what did they? What have they lost? They started off three and two, and now they're three and nineteen. So they've lost seventeen in a row. Um, I know it's an ugly, ugly thing to look at, but I'm grabbing the Spurs, and I think they can win this game. As crazy as that sounds, and get their first win and. A month and a half. Um, I'm going to be grabbing them plus three and a half. I think they keep this one within one possession. Let's head to the final game, which is the Nets and the Suns. The Suns are five and a half point favorites, total of 229 and a half. And I'm bringing up the Nets. I'm going to keep betting them. I know they lost last game, didn't cover. 16 5 and 1 against the spread, though, this year. Not to mention the uh, Phoenix Suns are currently playing, as I'm recording this video, at 11 18 at night. Um, and they're at halftime. So Phoenix has to play another game to not, uh, tomorrow against a more rested team. Uh, I think Brooklyn has a chance to win this game outright. So I know I've grabbed three dogs in this video, but I think two out of three of them have a chance to win outright. I don't really think the Pistons do, but give me the Nets plus five and a half in this one. Those are all the free picks for the NBA for us. Once again, all of our best bets will be over on the site picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. That's where you can get a one-week pass for $70. Um, and then make sure you guys are following Earl Sports Bets on all social media platforms. Recap time, we'll grab the Pistons plus the dozen. We'll grab the Spurs plus three and a half. And then we'll round it out with the Nets plus five and a half. That's going to do it for this edition of Ball Out with Tim Earl. Thank you guys for watching and 